Hi and God bless. I hope everyone's having a grateful day today. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how I effectively make sure that my kitchen is organized so that I can do my day-to-day -day task as a stay-at-home wife. Now, you can do this if you're a stay-at-home wife or a stay-at-home mother. So I want to show you my methods, and this is not to push any content or to push any type of consumerism. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I noticed that on TikTok, whenever I was trying to do research on how to organize my home, there was so much being pushed towards me. And so many people have Amazon storefronts, which there's nothing wrong with that. However, you don't need all those expensive gadgets to have an organized kitchen. So as you guys can see, I'm organizing my utensil drawer and I originally wanted to get the bamboo drawer organizers, but they did not fit our drawers. So I ended up getting these acai ones at the container store and I like them so much better because they're customizable and you can fit as many things as you like in them. For my bottom cabinet storage, I like to put my pots and pans here along with my baking stuff. So I ended up finding this pots and pan holder along with this lid holder and I'm placing it directly underneath. So what I like about this is that it can stack everything so that whenever I need to grab any pots and pans or any lids, everything is accessible and easy to use. I love to use stainless steel pots and pans and the reason for that being is because I used to use Teflon pans and they contain forever chemicals. Forever chemicals are the chemicals that are in the Teflon and that goes into your food and you don't want to have all those harmful things inside of your body. Therefore, we wanted to switch to something else, which I ended up finding that stainless steel is a lot healthier. Another good option to cook with is cast iron, copper and ceramic pots and pans because these will not allow chemicals to leach into your food or into your body. The same thing goes with Tupperware. You do not want to buy plastic Tupperware because the chemicals will leach into your food and then into your body. So I recommend getting glass for Tupperware. For my condiments, I like to put them in this drawer and in my old apartment, I had them facing up, but the drawers are different here, but I do like this concept because I get to see everything placed neatly and I can see what I need. I also noticed there were many options for condiments, but the options that I found were to put them in a cabinet and they would be stacked up, lined up, but I didn't like it just because I would have to constantly be opening and then I would lose cabinet space. So I thought this was best for me. I noticed that there were many options for condiments such as getting glass jars and then writing them or getting these labels or even printing out your labels but I felt that that was going to be way too expensive so I ended up using this spice rack that I got years ago in Target and I ended up refilling it each and every time. Another thing you can do is you can stack your condiments in your cabinet and you can place them like in a little mini step stool. I don't know how to explain it but I found that that was going to lose cabinet space so I wanted to just do whatever is cost effective. So for my lower cabinet, straight underneath the condiment drawer, I love to put all of my oils, I put my flour, anything that needs to be stored, I love to store them in these wicker baskets and I found them at Walmart for such a great price, so I'm going to be linking them down below. And I did the same thing for the underneath cabinet where I keep my cleaning supplies. If you guys haven't checked out my homemade DIY cleaning supplies and soap, check it out. I ended up making homemade all-purpose cleaner and bathroom cleaner for the home so that you don't have to keep spending outside buying these expensive cleaning supplies. So for this drawer, I like these items to be easy and accessible. So I have my kitchen rags, I have my oven mitts, and I have my hot plate mats along with this wicker basket and my vitamins. And then to the right of me is my parchment paper and plastic bags. This I did not show you guys, but we have our West Elm plates, cups, more cups, our wedding champagne glasses, bowls. These are wood acai bowls and these are also West Elm bowls up there. So we basically have the set, but eventually I want to get another set for when we have family to come visit because then we're already gonna have four plates and four bowls up here on the fridge we actually have our tray so if we don't want to eat on the countertop we will eat over there and then over here is a pantry but because we have this pantry over here 
I kind of like the look of an outside pantry, so I'm utilizing this for storage. Water bottles, cleaning, wee pads, and honestly, this apartment comes with a lot of storage that we still have so much room for. So that's pretty much it, as you guys can see. It's just the rest of the Ziploc bags, paper towels, and toilet paper. If we move over here, we have more cooking utensils so i cook with everything here and i did this for convenience because i obviously use this this is my olive oil i use this a lot i used to put flowers here the candles just to give it a vibe and to decorate the cups this is for decoration but we, we we will use them if we have more people over but we technically use the ones in there i usually put fruits in here like extra fruits same goes with this, but we have three apples at the moment. And then these are all of my cutting boards that I use. So I have different sizes for different things. And then I have these over here as well. This is just for decoration. It was given to us when we moved in here, along with a bunch of other goodies. My teas, and I actually do keep teas in here. Then I have my flour here. I have brown rice. And here, I do not have anything, but typically I put maple sugar. And then I also use these as well, and I thought it looks cute, so I added that there. And that's pretty much it. Now this is not a part of the organization portion, but I'm going to be making my own dishwashing soap and it's going to be in powder form. Also, sorry in advance if I'm sounding out of breath, the altitude here is really high and I'm still getting accustomed to it. But I use all of these ingredients to mix everything in. I'm using citric acid, natural washing soda and baking soda. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get a jar. It can be any kind, but I like to use the same type of jars because they match the aesthetic of our home and then mix that all in and then shake it, shake it. And then you don't have to do this, it's optional. I add lavender oil drops just because I like it to have a little bit of the scent. And then I just mix around with my wooden spoon and then you can just add whatever you like to your liking and then I'm shaking it once more. And then after that, I'm gonna end up putting the little wooden spoolie so that David or I can scoop whenever we're putting our dishes to wash. I ended up adding this portion because I promised that I would in my DIY soap and home cleaning supply video but I didn't get to it but I finally got the supplies and they were super inexpensive so I'll link everything down below and this is going to save you a ton of money so that you don't have to buy liquid dishwashing soap for your dishwasher. So Dave and I just went food shopping and I want to show you what we ended up getting. So we typically do Costco and Sprouts or Whole Foods, but today we only did Costco, Sam's and Whole Foods because we're exhausted. I've been wanting to try these, so we finally got these. These are fruit rolls and they're Bobby approved. I got mac and cheese. We typically don't eat mac and cheese, but they're also Bobby approved and I wanted to add something different. I ended up getting this hazelnut, which I love. I've tried it a couple of times. Something new is these chocolate chip cookies. These are from Whole Foods as well. There was one ingredient that wasn't approved and it was the epic milk chocolate, but I was like, that's okay. These are new as well. These are our chicken meatballs. We typically get these in Costco, but didn't have them, at least at this Costco. David's been wanting to get these, so we got these from him. I don't like the texture of coconut unless it's real coconut. I know that sounds obnoxious, but it's true. These are the great. <laughs> you look at this. <laughs> I think you're gonna laugh at that. But I don't like the texture of coconut, and that has that textury. Honestly, I prefer to drink coconut water out of a coconut or the harvest ones. That's Excuse it. Excuse me. <laughs> Let's just get right out of here. <laughs> Whatever. And we got our grass-fed butter that we typically get, our organic bananas, cuties. We got these grass-fed beef minis, and although we don't eat beef anymore, I have cheated like a few times being here, and I figured if we don't like them, we can always give them to the dogs. They were priced really well, and we got them at Sam's. You know what's crazy? They were 10 bucks at Sam's and they were 16 at Costco. So get them at Sam's. Also Bobby approved organic orange juice. We got this milk that Dave and I tried at Whole Foods last time we liked it. Everything you see here is always gonna be Bobby approved and I know that sounds annoying, but it's this app that I get. 
from this guy that we follow, Bobby Parrish, and all of his stuff is healthy. He shows you how to eat clean, drink clean, so you're not putting crazy stuff into your body, anything inflammatory, anything that's gonna be hindering to your health, things that are cancerous, etc., etc. Just end up getting, I've been craving mango, so I wanna eat these with some tahine. I will say though, like for example, this has cane sugar, so it wasn't Bobby approved, but Bobby says that if it doesn't have too much cane sugar, that it's okay, because it's not something we're consuming all the time anyways, which is true, because we don't really eat ketchup like that. Sun dried tomatoes, pesto. This is also not Bobby approved because it has natural flavors, but I cannot for the life of me find tomato pesto here, at least the brand that I used to buy in New York that is approved, so I'm gonna have to use that for now. We have our bow tie, organic pasta, kadim. I like this for chicken franchise. Rail sauce, you guys should get it if you're at your Costco. They go on sale a lot. Let's see what else we have here. We have dog food for the dogs. This is the ones that they get when they're not eating their pebbles. Parsley. We have our free free range organic eggs. Strawberries, because I love to have strawberries with this hazelnut. I'm obsessed. Baby spinach. Organic, of course. And that's pretty much it. We always get our arrowhead water. They didn't have this in New York. They only had spring, but this is mountain water. Wipes, tissue paper, and that is it. So, all of this is what we ended up getting. Oh, how can I forget the chicken? We got our organic chicken. I wanted to try this, the Sam's Club organic chicken, but they didn't have any, so. Pantry is all done. I have stuff on top with the pasta, more pasta. This I keep here because I think it looks cute. And also, I like to put iced tea there. Sometimes cucumber water or lemon water. We have some more snacks over here. This is actually fruit. Pumpkin seeds, cacao nibs, and David's Oreos because he can't live without those. We have spaghetti, siete chips, siete cookies, huge chocolate. And in the back, I have pumpkin pancakes. And then all the way back here is just the chips that I put. And then for the new snacks, I have the fruit bars here. And then the chocolate wafer is right there. I'm going to put everything away. And I want to show you guys how I clean my knives. Because our knives have wooden handles and all of my cutting boards when I cook in front. Starting off to clean my knives, I'm going to be using this Booze Lock Mystery Oil. It's really not mystery oil, it's just mineral oil. You can order it on Amazon or I think on his website as well. But if you don't have this, you can just use coconut oil or olive oil, which is what I used to do before. The only reason why I purchased this was because I wanted the bottle and I wanted to see if I was going to end up liking this because I noticed a lot of chefs do use this and it was pretty inexpensive. So as you guys can see here, it's polishing the knives really, really well. So I do like that, but... Being honest, I didn't see a difference between coconut oil or olive oils, but since I don't have the coconut oil, this is what I ended up using. But if you have that at home, it works just fine. As you guys can see, this is a before and after. So the reason why you wanna use any type of mineral oil, coconut or olive oil is because over time, any type of wood, whether that be acai wood, um teak wood or walnut wood it kind of gets dingy and you have to upkeep it so polishing with oil is going to help it keep it nice and shiny clean and also if you think about it whenever you're using your cutting boards whatever oil you use it's going to seep into your food so you get the benefits of whatever oil you have and these are my beautiful schmidt brothers polished knives those are the brand if you're wondering and everything else Moving on to my cutting boards, I'm doing the same exact thing I did to the knives. Nothing new, nothing special, except for the fact that I'm taking this sponge. And then you will see in the grooves, I will use either a towel or my pointer finger. So you can do either or. And if you don't have the sponge, it's okay. You can use a cloth towel. You can use a microfiber towel, ta towel, towel, which I believe this is a microfiber towel. So that's what I'm using and you don't have to get fancy or spend any money. You can literally use your hands if you wanted to, but I'm doing it this way. And if you have that extra money, you can spend it. So these are my other ones. And I believe this one is 
acai wood the first one was teak wood but as you guys can see it had so many scratches so when i apply the oil you can see the before and after that's such a huge difference and another thing i like to do is just let them dry overnight because i like to let the oil soak in and it's going to seep in so like i said whenever you're cooking or cutting chicken or any type of meat it's going to go into your food so you want to get all those benefits My little cutting boards are for small fruits and veggies. You can also use them as charcuterie boards, but I just use them for small fruits and veggies. And I'm going to be oiling them as well because I want them to receive all the benefits that the chicken or meat would. Once I'm all done, the counters are oily, so I use my homemade DIY all-purpose cleaner on the counters and just clean that away. And this is what my boards are looking like. I also do the wooden spoons that you guys see right here, but I didn't do them because they were clean. So the next round, they'll be getting cleaned. And that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for organizing me. I pray that this video blesses you and that you find peace and joy in your home and that you're able to find the best organizational skills for you as a stay-at-home wife or mother. God bless. Bye.